Have you ever heard the old saying, don't put all of your eggs in one basket? In spite of the small percentage of us who have ever collected eggs in a basket, the simple wisdom of this proverb is universal. Namely, if you put all of your eggs in one basket and you drop that basket, you won't be having an omelet for breakfast. However, if you divide your eggs across multiple baskets, dropping a single basket isn't a disaster. When it comes to investing, the same principle holds. If you invest all of your savings in a single company and that company goes under, your entire investment is lost. But if you invest your savings across multiple companies, the poor performance or even bankruptcy of one company isn't the end of the world. This principle of spreading your investments across different assets called diversification was first explored by Harry Markowitz in the 1950s. In fact, he received a Nobel Prize for his work in the area. He suggested that while investors are looking to maximize their investment return, they also want to minimize the volatility associated with those investments. The desire of investors for a higher return is not surprising, but, but what is volatility and why would investors dislike it? Volatility is a measure of the ups and downs of an investment. If you receive an investment statement in the mail each month and check your balance, you hope that the dollar amount listed on the statement is higher than the month before. But when you invest in an asset with higher volatility, that balance is more likely to have large swings in value. If you open the statement once a month, knowing that you need money to pay for a large expense, like buying a car, and the balance happens to be down, well, you get a sense for why investors dislike volatility. As investors, what can we do to decrease volatility? Mark would suggest that the answer is for investors to diversify. By spreading out our investment dollars across multiple assets, we can reduce the volatility of our portfolio. As an example, consider investing in U.S. stocks. The Standard & Poor's 500 is an index of the 500 largest publicly listed stocks in the U.S. If we were to select just one of those stocks and invest $100,000, the ups and downs in our portfolio would be pretty severe. However, if we invested equally in five stocks or 30 stocks, the ups and downs are significantly reduced. Because the stocks have different ups and downs, combining them into one portfolio helps to smooth out the ride. If investors diversify their portfolios across different asset classes, namely stocks, bonds, real estate, etc., the volatility decreases even more. Now, not everyone agrees that you should diversify. Mark Twain once wrote, Behold, the fool saith, put not all thine eggs in the one basket, which is but a manner of saying, scatter your money and your attention. But the wise man saith, put all your eggs in the one basket and watch that basket. Although the quote was made tongue in cheek, it's a perspective that some investors embrace. While I wholeheartedly support the advice for investors to watch their basket, even the savviest investors cannot predict the outcome of all of their investments. In those surprisingly frequent cases when all the watching in the world can't help most investors avoid a big loss, diversification has the potential to soften the blow.